guys, good day to you. In today's video, we'll share with you how to view and explore the digital elevation model using the ArcC. And also, uh, we'll share with you how to create a video uh, uh, using the ArcC, uh, navigating the area of interest uh, you're presenting, and also how to include the vector layer. Uh, and next to the digital elevation model, uh, maybe a, a polyline representing the uh, roads uh, or canals, maybe a polygon to uh, represent or highlight or in a specific area or in a specific uh, location, and also give you an idea how to include the 3D text. Uh, uh, we use it as labels for all these features we, uh, we're editing or we're adding. So uh, let's dive in and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first of all, we'll have a quick look here on the arc map. Let's load the layer. That's uh, Alice Pulsar Digital Elevation Model. Uh, that's for a location in the northern part of the Western Desert, one of the small depressions in the Western Desert. That's why the Notro. Let's have a quick look here on this Digital Elevation Model. We'll have a look at properties. And simple let's classify it into five classes, yes. I uh, have a diff pick a color ramp that's a little bit different. Okay. So the on the arc map we're navigating a 2D map. That's as far as we can go uh, using the arc map. Uh, on the other hand, if we loaded the same layer on the arc scene, well, we have a third dimension here. Well, let's do the same thing we did with the arc map, properties, symbology, classified, put it to five classes, and we'll have a look here on this color ramp. Okay, it's still in 2D. In order to view or to display the 3D dimension, or we'll right click and properties on the layer, and in the base heights. Okay. If we just click elevation from surfaces floating on the custom surface surface. And we're already picked by uh, the only layer that's available here and the factor to convert layer elevation values to scene units. One that's gonna be the same as the data that's mentioned uh, on, uh, in the layer. The difference between the elevation here, it's not that big of a difference, to be honest with you. That's from minus uh, 52 to 254 meter above the sea level. So that's in total around 300 meter. If you're going to have a look on 300 meter on this location, this is a very, very large uh, location. But the thing is, you will notice that there is a, some sort of an effect here. You will start to view it that this area is a little bit higher than this one, and this one is a little bit higher than this. You know, it's beginning to pop here. What we're going to do now is just to magnify this uh, uh, this difference by uh, multiplying the uh, the difference here with this particular factor. Maybe to put it to a hundred. And we're having a very, very, very huge difference in the elevation. Kind of maximized the difference. which is not representing the real world at all. They, at this particular uh, uh, scale, we can say that we have Mount Everest here, and this is the Grand Canyon. <laughs> okay, we'll just minimize the factor here a little bit, maybe 225. Things is a little bit more reasonable than it, than it was. Okay. 
So that could give us an idea about that this is uh, this location has a lower elevation than the, that particular one. This is high and this is low. That's the depression, where it not thrown. And these are locations a little bit higher than the elevation next, next to it, yes. Mm, okay, maybe we could increase our classes here. Uh, Symbology that put it to 10. Okay. Okay. So we're going to include also a couple of other layers. Let's add um, roads. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's a vector layer. Thing is, uh, we this particular layer starts to take the elevation, but that one isn't. So we're going to do the same thing for a, a every layer we're going to add here. So right-click on the layer, properties, and base heights as well, and do the same thing. And we'll do the same thing with the factor as well. That's 25. Uh, we should be doing something else, but let me give me an idea about what happens if we did did it like this. Okay, so he only presented the layer that contains the elevation uh, um, value, which is the only the the part that uh, covered uh, covers the digital elevation model. As you can see, polyline is going through the digital elevation model. It happens a lot, actually, especially if you have a lot of uh, variation in the elevation. Okay, what we're going to do here is more like add uh, a difference in elevation, maybe add an extra 25 meter. A layer offset, there, this is a, a gap between the layers. Okay, let's do it again. Maybe 500. Perfect, that's make it a little bit more thicker. Okay. Uh, so these are the roots. Okay. Let's try to add a three D text. Okay, I'll right click. And add the layer for 3D graphics. Okay, add a 3D text and click here. Call it Wadi L. Not wrong. Okay. Click on enter. It is created, but usually by default it has a very, very small uh, font. Let's just have a focus on it here. You'll see it. Okay, so we just select it and 
click here on the color text color yeah 3d text and we'll have the size and position as for the size let's put it more like uh, 1000 and the depth 1000 as well click on apply and okay let's zoom to layer Okay. Okay. Click on the size and position as well. Okay. Uh, program uh, took the elevation here from the part of the raster layer I just clicked on. So I'll just reduce it. It's already in the negative uh, minus uh, 133. Let's put we have the maximum uh, number here or maximum elevation on the layer that's 254. Okay, let's put it on let's say 300. Okay, apply and okay. okay. Again, say one thousand. Okay, put it again. Apply. Okay, that are we? case let's put it on 5000 and that sounds reasonable okay 3d text you can control the orientation the alignment it's very flexible when it comes to how you want to view the 3d text about the color Put it in pink. Oh, okay. Apply. Okay. Let's add another one. 3D text and. <laughs>
and this camera or movement couple of movements made to the camera you can save it if in case you wanna export a couple of videos for the same location using the same camera movements for different layers maybe you're just wanna ex uh, to pre export the the digital vision model without any other features and also to, to display to export it again to create a new video of, uh, to start to view a different uh, completely different layer so we have the animation file we can export the animation file here save animation file and go to the location mm. Say we want to save it here. Okay. And to export the video, click on export animation. Okay. That's video. Mm. An extension for the video is only produced as set in AVI. AVI is a uh, very common uh, uh, video extension. And we click on export. Click OK. To load for a while. Any video player can play an AVI uh, a video, video. So if you click on VLC, for example, and we have it. Learned how to digital division model using the arcsane and also to include the vector layers on it and also to add the text uh, 3d text labels uh, on the 3d map see you in the next video bye